Wave, look, why you mad? Get to the bag. Long face, deck a case, get the cash. I've been living fast, still far from average. Real talk, all this shit is right outside what I imagine. Young, black, and raspy, cash me with a lab. Beyond, nigga, make the slap that make her body do magic. Won't stop till my bank account magnets. Looking like I'm still running paper routes backwards. Money bags, no advance, snap back like a rubber band. Pretty thing with a suntan, make it bounce back when you do the dance. Caught my song, we should push the pick. See your things through a different lens. Living fast, only one chance. Never pants, how we do the plans. What's going on, everybody? This is Lag on Lock here, and welcome to the Howard University Bison Dynasty here on NCAA 07 for the PSP. So, a little bit about Howard University. They're located in Washington, D.C., and it's one of the largest HBCUs in the nation with around 10,000 students. 86% of those students are African American. And for those of you who don't know, HBCU means historically black college or university. The Bison compete in the football championship subdivision, also known as FCS, and are members of the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference. Howard's top rival is the Hampton Pirates, and they play in the battle for the real hue. But for this dynasty, guys, I'm adding Howard and the Big East, replacing USF, because I'm looking for a challenge, but too much of a challenge. It's already going to be difficult playing with the FCS school in the FBS, but I think we're up for the challenge. So to start this dynasty off, guys, we're going to take a look at the preseason polls. We are ranked 119 in the nation which is obvious because we're coming from the FCS. We have a D minus overall, a D minus offense, a D minus defense, and a D minus special teams unit. I hate that it's like this, but I'm excited for the challenge and this leaves a lot of opportunity for growth. Looking at the Big East Conference outlook, we have the Louisville Cardinals taking the number one spot. They are ranked number eight in the nation. At number two, we have the Pittsburgh Panthers, who are ranked number 23 in the nation. At number three, we have the Rutgers Scarlet Knights. At number four, we have the West Virginia Mountaineers. At number five, we have the Syracuse Orange. At number six, we have the Connecticut Huskies. At number seven, we have the Cincinnati Bearcats. And we are last in our conference, no surprise there, but we have a lot of decent competitors here, especially Louisville and Pitt who are in the top 25. So next up guys, we're gonna take a look at the top five Heisman Trophy candidates. And at number one, we have number 97, Brent Harper, the junior redshirt left in from USC. Taking the number two spot, we have number 31, Rob Smith, the freshman halfback from Oklahoma. At number three on the Heisman list, we have number four, Aaron Francis, the junior redshirt halfback out of USC. At number four, we have number seven, Justin Baldwin, the freshman quarterback out of Texas. And last, we have number 85, Ronnie Campanella, the sophomore wide receiver from Ohio State. So now guys, we're gonna take a look at the team roster. Now this is my favorite part whenever I start a new dynasty. But looking at our quarterback position, we have number 17, Travis Livingston, the senior quarterback. He has a 44 overall. I didn't even know the overalls can get below a 50. At halfback, we have number 25, Eric Miller, the junior red shirt who is an impact player and also our offensive captain. He's coming in with a 76 overall. So I'm going to be utilizing this guy a lot in the first year. And then behind Miller, we have number 20, Reggie Grigsby, the senior red shirt. He has a 68 overall. At fullback, we have number 40, Phil Demps, who is a senior. He's coming in with a 44 overall. Looking at our wide receivers, man, we have a lot of work to do. We have number 81, Eric Gray, the sophomore red shirt. He has a 52 overall. Next, we have number 84, Tony Little, the senior red shirt. He has a 52 overall as well. Following Little, we have number 13, Chase Love, the senior red shirt. He has a 52 overall. And last, we have number 14, Adam Mason, a junior wide receiver who has a 48 overall. And this just keeps getting better, guys. At tight end, we have number 88, Dave Stone, who is a senior. He has a 40 overall. At right tackle, we have number 73, Dave Landry, the senior red shirt. He has a 52 overall. And then at left tackle, we have number 62, Devin Bryan, the junior red shirt, who has a 48 overall. At left guard, we have number 64, Richard Wade, the senior red shirt. He has a 52 overall. And at right guard, we have number 78, Tyrone Landrum, the sophomore red shirt. He has a 48 overall. At center, we have number 72, Shannon Matthews, a senior red shirt. He has a 48 overall. 
Moving over to our defense. Now, I thought our defense was going to be a little bit better than our offense, but that is to be expected. We have a D minus in almost everything. But anyway, starting off with our defensive end, we have Daniel Miller, the junior red shirt. He's going to be playing left end, and he has a 40 overall. At right end, we have number 91, Matt Thomas, the senior red shirt. He has a 40 overall. So our defense might not be that bad. We have number 60, Matt Fritz, the senior defensive tackle, who is our impact player, and he has an 85 overall. It's a shame this is his last year, but I need him for this year one. At left outside linebacker, we have number 42, Greg Jones, the junior red shirt. He has a 40 overall. And for our right outside linebacker position, we have number 50, Josh Bradley, the junior red shirt. He also has a 40 overall. Next, we have number 52, Ryan Everson, the junior middle linebacker. He has a 68 overall. So I thought our secondary was going to be at least decent. I mean, at least with a D, but all these guys are 52 overall. Starting off with number 35, Aaron Washington. He is a junior. Next, we have number 10, Randall Jones. He's a junior as well. Next, we have number 28, Tyler McKinney, the freshman red shirt. And last, we have Pedro Claret, who is a junior. At free safety, we have number two, Bruce Campbell, who is an impact player and also our defensive captain, so that's pretty good. He has an 82 overall, and just like Fritz, he will be leaving at the end of this season. At strong safety, we have number 37, Ray Copeland, the junior red shirt. He has a 48 overall. At kicker, we have number 31, Leon Wilcher, who is a sophomore. He has a 44 overall. And last, we have number 48, John Manning, who is a sophomore. He has a 44 overall. So overall, guys, we have 41 players, which consists of three freshmen, seven sophomores, 14 juniors, and 17 seniors. I'm not going to lie to you guys. This is going to be a hectic dynasty. We're going to lose a lot of games, but it's going to be so rewarding later on in the dynasty. So looking at our team needs, guys, I'm just going to say it flat out. We need everybody. I mean, we need 24 players, and that's except for tackle and cornerback. But we only have three available scholarships to give throughout the season. So I'm definitely going to go after a quarterback, a halfback, and a wide receiver. Defensive players, I try to get those in the offseason. So now, guys, we're going to take a look at our weekly schedule for this year. And in week one, we are at home to start off this dynasty and face our rival, the Hampton Pirates. In week two, we play the FIU Golden Panthers. Week three, we start our first away game against the UCF Golden Knights. Week four, we continue on the road against the Kansas Jayhawks. Week five, we start our first conference play at home against the Rutgers Scarlet Knights. Week six, we play the Connecticut Huskies to continue conference play. Week seven, we head over to North Carolina to take on the Tar Heels. Week eight, we continue conference play against the Cincinnati Bearcats. We do have a bye week in week nine, but in week 10, we play the Pittsburgh Panthers. Week 11, we play the Syracuse Orange. In week 12, we head over to Louisville to take on the Cardinals in our most difficult game of the season. In our last game of the season, we're taking on the West Virginia Mountaineers. So now we're gonna take a look at the coach report card. Now I will be going over this every seven weeks just to keep you guys updated on how well I'm doing. But anyway, congratulations on being appointed the new head coach at Howard. The university is asking a lot out of me in my first year. So we do have a three-year contract with Howard. And my team goals for this year is to have a winning season and receive a bowl bid. I'm not going to lie to you, that's a tough order. So next up, guys, we're going to take a look at the coaching strategy. Now we are running with the run and gun playbook. Our offensive type is balance. We tend to run the ball on offense, and that's good considering we have Miller. And when it comes to our overall strategy, it's about 50-50 between conservative and aggressive. Looking at our defensive strategy, we're going to be running with the 4-2-5 defense. Our defensive tendency is about half and half, with 49% of it being running and 51% of it stopping passing plays. Just like our offensive strategy, our overall strategy on defense is about half and half between conservative and aggressive. So now, guys, we're going to take a look at the gameplay settings, and we are playing on the Heisman difficulty. I did adjust the sliders a little bit, just like how I did for the Fight in Illini Dynasty. We will be playing on five-minute quarters because I did four minutes in the past, but five minutes, I get a little bit of a realistic statistic when it comes to players tackling and yardage per game. Injuries will be on, home field advantage will be on, and game fatigue will be on. 
So guys, that's gonna do it for the Howard Bison intro. In the next video, we'll be taking on our rival, the Hampton Pirates, to start off this dynasty, and they seem to be evenly matched. But anyway, guys, that's gonna do it for this one. If you like what you see, and you would like to see more, please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know how I'm doing down in the comment section below. That helps me out a lot, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.